हेलो हाय गाइस गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम बैक टू न्यू वीडियो इन दिस वी गोन सी प्रॉब्लम एक्सोग्राफिकली मिनिमम स्ट्रिंग आफ्टर रिमूविंग स्टार्स यू वांट टू वॉच प्रॉब्लम नंबर फोर जस्ट राइट प्रॉब्लम नेम बाय आर एन मित्तल यू विल गेट द वीडियो नाउ कमिंग ऑन बैक दिस इट सिंपली सेज दैट यू आर गिवन अ स्ट्रिंग एस एंड इट मे कंटेन एनी नंबर ऑफ स्टार करेक्टर्स नाउ योर टास्क इज टू रिमूव ऑल दी स्टार करेक्टर्स नाउ हाउ टू रिमूव इट यू कैन रिमूव one star character by performing this operation what the operation is the operation is delete the leftmost star and the smallest non star character to its left mark my words there are two major things smallest non star character to the left of the current star okay and if there are several smallest characters you can delete any of them it's your choice to delete any of the characters if there are multiple small characters to the left of a star for example in this case to the left of a star i have all these characters but i want the smallest character the smallest character here is a if i take a so i have a three options i have three options to remove a so i want to remove again whenever i remove any of the non star character for a star character these both will be gone right so i want to remove such that the string formed ultimately in the end should be lexicographically smallest so imagine i would have removed this a for this star then a string formed would have been aba and answer is ab as you can easily see that aba aba is lexicographically larger than aab because a is same but ab so this is lexicographically small and this was possible just because of that if you had a a here and star here for a star remove this a this star is gone thus the string form will be aab now we will not paint any of our brains we'll simply see one thing see when i am and i have reached a star simply we'll iterate from iterate on from left to right okay as i'm iterating 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 as i have as i reach to a star it's a alarming point for me because as i have reached a star i need to look back and grab the smallest element grab the smallest element and that to having the largest index that's when i will be able to remove the firstly small element that's the first criteria out of all the small element having the largest index for this index is 0 1 2 3 4 So small element is a. Out of all a's, grabbing the largest index, which is this one, and thus simply remove it, and then keep on going. And ev on every star, look back, find the smallest element, which is character. Out of all those small characters, let's say for a, we have a at index zero, two, three, and so on and so forth. Out of all those indexes, pick the largest index for that small character. That's your answer. so uh why is it always possible because they have always given that the input is generated such that it is always possible to delete all star characters which means before every star character again when i say before i don't mean immediately before but i mean okay any time before it you will for sure get any character which can make sure that this star will be removed and again my s only contains lower case english letters and a star so it's very obvious that you just need to maintain all the characters and their corresponding indexes so what i will do i'll maintain the characters and their corresponding indexes so a okay a as at index 0 then at index 1 then okay b b at index 2 okay then a again at index 3 okay 3 then i encounter a star when i encounter a star i will go and check the smallest character let's say a is here b is here so i will check okay a i found it okay a if the if the a size is not zero then i will look for a so i will go on to all the characters in the okay small then bigger then bigger and so on and so forth now out of all those characters out of all those characters I, as in as i'm going from smallest to the largest character any time i find okay he has some indexes which means he is available so okay these for a i can see it is available So I have available three. I have got a star. Remove the last most occurrence. Remove the rightest index because I was pushing in as I'm moving from left to right. So all these indexes are actually pushed in from left to right only. 
So simply remove the last index. Simple. Good. So the remaining indexes are the good indexes. These are the good indexes. And the non which are not here are the bad indexes. So now you can simply iterate on the entire list again and can answer. Okay. Zero is here. Okay. One is here. Okay. B is here. Okay. So just see, okay, what all indexes are there? Just put the just put the characters at these indexes and you're good to give the answer back. Same way for this example, indexes 0, 1, 2, okay, A having 0, B having index 1, C at index 2, oh, there is no star, oh, no one is removed. So these are the good indexes. If these are good, so okay, he is good, he is good, he is good. So A, B and C is the answer. A, B and C is the answer. For examples, okay, you maintain A is here at index 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. A is at index 0, okay, C at index 1, okay, A at, at index 2, okay. B at index 3, okay. Then a star. If you got a star, iterate on your characters from smallest to largest. Whosoever is the first character whose size is non-zero, which means that character is present. Okay. 2 is present. Okay. A is present. Grab the rightmost. So, whatever I have grabbed is the bad index. So, this was the bad index. Okay. Then ultimately go on. So, array has, array has ended. So, all these are the good indexes. So, 0, 1, Three are the good indexes. So answer is A, C, and B. Answer is A, C, and B for this. Okay. More examples. Again, uh, for this A, again indexing. Let's put the indexes 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. A index 0. Again, C at index 1. A at index 2. Okay. B at index 3. Okay. Then you got a star. Iterate on in your entire list. Okay. You got a A. Remove that. Last one, he is a bad index. He is a bad index. Okay, just mark a flag. Bad index. Then move on. Okay, again a star. Iterate again. O. Oh. Again, you have a A. Bad index. Size is 0 now. Okay, just simply remove that also. Okay, what if you had one more star here? If you had one more star, which is the exact same bottom example, one more star, then your index would have been 6 for this. Okay, one more star here. Iterate again. But okay, A is empty now. B has one element. Okay. Grab it. He's a bad index now. Okay. He's a bad index now. And thus, whatsoever is remaining, apart from non stars, obviously, is my good, is my good array or good string. Cool. And thus, last example uh, here you have B as at index 0, 1, 2, 3, at index 0. Uh, again, when you received a star, you will iterate on the list. A has nothing, B has nothing, C has nothing, D has. Okay, remove it. So, D is gone. Bad index. Again, you received the O. Okay, if you received O, simply, okay, O is there, add index 2. Again, E is empty, F is empty, and so on and so forth. You again received a star. Again, check. Iterate on the entire list. Whosoever is the first one who is not present, I will simply take this, remove it, bad index, and then again repeat, iterate. Whosoever is bad index, leave on, leave them not bad index, put them. Answer is empty for this because everyone is a bad index apart from stars obviously. obviously. This is the ultimate game for us which means we will simply have a hash map which will maintain the character to corresponding indexes whatsoever I have. Cool. Now for this ultimately what we will do uh, we will simply iterate again we will simply go on to every index if it's a character lowercase English alphabet then push that to my hash map and hash map is hash map simply says this is a character to its vector of indexes integer that's my hash map cool so in a as soon as you, you get a character simply push back in your hash map o of one operation whenever you get a star you iterate on all the 26 characters the first non-zero vector you remove the last element from it. So first operation was iterate on all the 26 characters. So as soon as you get a star, you will iterate on all the 26 characters, which is 26 times for one star. And then when you iterate on it, check its vector and remove the last element, which is the last. I'll simply remove the last, which is the simply O of 1. Pop back operation. So okay, O of 1. So this is for one star. The time is this. For a simple alphabet, the time is again O of 1. So, if I want to generalize that complexity, it will be nothing but O of n into 26. Cool. 
let's implement it again there is one more way a bit more or less same but yeah uh, you can also i'll also show that one more way so firstly these to remove represents bad indexes what i should remove this is a map which i made for a hash map which i showed for a, every character from a to z i will maintain the corresponding indexes for them cool then i went on to all the indexes if the current element is a star then for sure do your operation but if it is a lower case english alphabet simply for that character push back that index in its vector cool now when it's a star iterate on all the characters from a to z find the first non zero size hash map which has indexes first you know that it's back it's back will contain the index which needs to be removed as you can see it is being removed here it's back thus make sure to put that element okay this is a bad index and i should remove it as in to remove simply says in the final string this index should not come that's the only identity for this so i'll say to, to remove for this index which was in the back of the vector just simply mark it as a one flag simple flag and then pop back that index itself because now it is removed just so as to incorporate a star and then simply break because one star is done i want to incorporate at a, at a current star i will just only facilitate or basically um you know benefit nahi accommodate nahi this is okay i'll just simply help this only one star at a, at a point of time cool does um that is how you will approach it so you will see o of n time and o of 26 time here so time is o of n into 26 space will be o of n plus 26 because although i have a to z vectors a to z as a hash map key but the corresponding index can at max can at max be n these can at max be n so 26 plus n again this is this is empty z is empty let's say d is empty but let's say e is there g is there so n indexes will be there at max i'm saying in worst case although it will be half because of the constraint mentioned here mentioned here but still we say in worst case it will be n you can say and then 26 for the 26 alphabets now one very basic stuff which you wanted or which i should ask you is what you wanted you wanted such that again you saw that this will work completely fine and that is also good for you time and space both are good but this very slight improvisation slight another way to solve it is that at any point of time you want it for a star for any star you wanted the smallest character and maximum index smallest character and maximum index so do one thing simply maintain the same stuff which means that maintain okay a 0 c 1 a 2 b 3 like this maintain this maintain this and thus in maintaining this make sure at a specific star check the smallest check the smallest character so take a min heap take a min heap or basically a set sorted in the descending order so i grab the smallest index but for sure Irene was storing it as a, storing it as a pair so if you're storing it as a, as a pair so this will also be minimum but i want the second thing to be maximum so do one thing while putting up the indexes negative invert their signs so put it as a minus zero it will be zero only c minus one a minus two and c minus and b minus three so when I, whenever i'll get a first star it's a mean he so i will grab the smallest pair smallest pair as in a is there a is there sorry a is there a is there so i'll get the smallest okay both are a then it will go on to the next element which is minus two so this is the smallest pair which will be grabbed out so i will mark it as a bad index i will grab this pair out i will grab it as a, a minus two negate this sign because i have already negated the sign so just so as to push that in my heap and then when it is out simply i got an index two it is a bad index for me thus you will see that any point of time you are maintaining this heap which is for sure pushing it in a heap uh, popping sorry uh, pushing in the heap popping from the heap simple login operation thus you will see that again you grab a lowercase character just push that to a heap login you grab you got a star just 
pop from the heap minimum pair again a log n thus it will be o of n log n time if you take a min heap if you take a min heap o of n log n time and for sure the space used by min heap will also be o of n but i will say this is better because here the push operation is o of 1 while the pop as you as you can say okay the lower case character string s will be o of 1 operation while the star operation will actually be 26 while for this case both push operation and pop operation will be a log n thus if we see that this star in worst case can be half as that of half as that of your strings so as to incorporate this condition so technically what i feel is that this should be better but you can simply argue with me that r n n is 1 e 5 and log of 1 e 5 is actually 20 at max 20 around that so for sure it will be less than n into 26 yeah you can also say that but okay more or less both are same and both will work for you i showed you both the approaches cool bye bye take care and again if you liked it please smash like button but